Theme song. So, did you ever play Poochie the Sonic? Hedgehog 4? Yeah. Uh, I played episode 1. I remember these coming out like, I don't know, around 2010, 2011, and I thought this was going to be the new thing. I thought there were going to be more Sonic the Hedgehog 4 games, but as far as I know, there's only episodes 1 and 2. That's right. They're really good. I wonder what happened, because I remember enjoying them. What happened is they're ridiculously bad. Oh, really? Yeah. I like, I remember the, the jumps <clears throat> being a bit weird. The whole thing at first seems nice. It oh. seems like you're like, oh, wow, this is okay. This is sort of. I don't remember them looking like that. Different, but. All right. So you get a lock on attack. Sonic just looks I must, out I of I think place. I'm thinking of a different game. I think you are. Because I definitely do not remember this. But shit. also, these were on the Xbox 360 and they were also on mobile. So it looked a lot cleaner on smaller devices and shit. Yeah, because this kind of looks like bum right now. Yep. No, this is the game. It was made by Dimps. I don't even know um, what that is. Dimps do the 3D stuff, usually. So they threw the momentum off completely. Boing, so boing. every time you go into spin ball, you lose momentum. What? Like yeah. while you're running? Yeah. Yeah. So usually, you know, when you spin ball to gain momentum in each and every game, ever. My rings! Wait, like, so when you're, when you're the ball, what do you mean, like, lose momentum? I'm so, thinking, you know... You go slow, <clears throat> you slow down? You know in, in uh, like, Casino Night Zone when you're going up yeah, yeah, yeah. corners? And, you know, as you come down, you go into a ball to gain momentum yeah, yeah. through the loop. If you do that in this game, you lose momentum. That's weird. And you never go higher. Huh. You've got to run in this version. Like, that's just dumb, because everyone knows hedgehogs can curl into a ball and... To gain momentum, yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's a fact. That's why Sonic was the basis. You better you fucking get in that ring, Costello. God damn it! Also, fuck them for that design. Whoever makes those, you've got a second, and you don't know what's coming up. But did you get it? No, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> hey, this area is mysteriously flat. It's flat, you jump. Yeah, but they give you no time in this version compared... Yeah. Ooh, high speed athletics. Like the music's nice. Like I just I feel like some of the the color is off on fucking Sonic. You know, like oh no, definitely he looks he looks like his shading's different to the background. It just it it feels like a graphic error, and I mean the background's looking like cut out fucking JPEGs. I think's a creative design choice, which I mean I'm not wildly opposed to, but I also. I feel like it could almost be grimier, you know? Like, it looks... There's a sinister quality to it. And I wish they'd sort of leaned into that a little bit more. I'm gonna be here forever. Ah, uh, fucker, there we go. Yep. Fix! Yep. <laughs> Shit on my dick! Alright, you gotta jumpies at the enzies, Aaron. Shit! Ah, oh, fuck, alright. No, as, it, as in, there's actually, like, a severe delay things as well well it's, I mean it just when you game. came off the end of that vine it really didn't look like you had the fucking you know momentum no I did I had the height and the momentum but the momentum in this game ends just very quickly so in any other other Sonic game would be completely fine yeah because the one I played had what I'm thinking of I don't know if it was you know, kind of in this was like pixels it wasn't 3d there was never a Sonic 4 in pixels I think not, I have no clue, dude. Is this, yeah, this was Sonic 4, and this is why it never came back, because it was just bummed here. <laughs> bum. Bum is such a good word, man. It really is. Ah, oh, me bum flaps! Yeah. <laughs> well, because, you know, butt has disadvantages, because, you know, butt it's has a lot of other uses. You know, like... You can say, you know, the butt of a rifle. You can't say the bum of a rifle. So that... You could. Oh, that eats sound, ass. It would sound pretty good. Go, Aaron, go. Get I'm a gonna, womb. I'm going to call him the... Oh, you've lost the womb. From now, I'm going to call him the bum. Yeah. This is the bum <laughs> of the bread. bum of the rifle, yeah. Would you like the bum of the garlic bread, sir? Yes, I would. Yes. Thank you. Eat the bum. That's so I think bums just jump. No, figs. Damn it. No ring. It doesn't right. matter. What's the bonus stage like in this one? Awful. Oh, this is a surprise. So imagine. I don't think really any of the Sonic bonus stages have been what I'd call great. They take the original. The one where you're drifting around the pinball machine. Yeah. 
except they make it so you you turn the pinball machine yourself. What? And you can't jump. Huh. Yeah. I mean, that's just like, you remember those before, like, video games were good? And, like, you could still get those little physical Game Boys that had, like, it's just like Water a picture. Water machines? Well, there were those. Those are the good ones. The shitty ones were, like, just a fucking picture with holes in it. <laughs> and there was, like, yeah. you had a little ball. Like, and fuck, I feel a thousand years old. Like, there's some teenager listening to this going, like, what? Picture with hole balls? And it's like, yeah, there's... That was in my day, a Game Boy, yeah, was, like, a fucking drawing of some bullshit. You and paid the drawing money for that. <laughs> and the drawing had holes in it, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, and I know, right? uh, Well, there were little fucking metal balls that went in the holes. Yeah, those pictures on them. Oh, I knew your brother would fight over got to play Picture Holy. <laughs> and I got some high scores on Picture Holy, I'll tell oh, you. I know. I think I hold a world record. Even the OG Game Boy ate fucking asshole compared to what's going around the day. I know, right? You got phones that can, like, load emulators or, you know, play actual, you know, Flash games or, you know, things like even, GTA and yeah, stuff. Yeah, even on games phone. actually designed for, like, you know, phones from the ground up these days are actually, like, provided they're not the fucking just, you know, blatant theft in digital form, you know, not bad. Like, yeah. Don't lose the WAM, Aaron. Can't lose the WAM. Notice that the WOM doesn't rock with you, you know? I feel like that's something that should be fixed. Yeah, super shoes. Nothing makes you want to, like, stay safe like running faster to danger. What's well, okay, Aaron. You're Sonic the Hedgehog, you have a ball. You have, There are friendly springs placed everywhere. I wonder what, like, because you ever go to those Jimbery places and go, God, I wish they had these for adults. Like, and they have those trampoline joints, which are sort of the same thing, but I kind of want, like... You know, I want to know what the logistics of, like, a Sonic Spring is for something that could launch an adult relatively safely. I can safely. imagine it would not be good on your body. I don't think it has to be super safe. Like, I think it should be the kind of thing that you do have to brace for. Like, Oh, which, no, you're definitely signing a waiver using it. Yeah, well, I mean, 100%. it's like those trampoline places. Like, you can fuck yourself up on trampolines, but they still have warehouses full of them. And you know what? They're a lot of fucking fun. So I'm curious if the little launchy, do launchy boys can, like, fucking could be added to that, like maybe a pneumatic or using like old airbag parts or something. Again, I think it's the problem of your bones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm willing to acknowledge that there's issues of acceleration. I'm just, I'm, there's got to be a happy medium, you know, something that could launch me without shooting my feet into my asshole. I think we need to combine the, the things where, you know, people jump off the boards and they have them inflated on the water and they get sproing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're rotating the level, yeah. right? And oh yeah, I feel you now. Yeah, it's just it does. Yeah, when, this you, is, when you press the jump button, this is picture it hole. shudders yeah. it. And <laughs> it's a bit you'd think now. maybe, oh, maybe if I'm stationary, you'll boing him. No, it just shudders it. I don't know what it's for. It's listed as jump under the controls. I tell you, it's not <laughs> jump. Why do they lie? I hate these. Levels. Was there a time limit in the old one? Yes. Huh. Actually, no, I don't think so. I don't I believe so. Well, I, I, I played it recently, but I just keep rotating it, rotating it forever. I was fiddling around in my emulators and had a fucking, uh, you know, one, one with one of those things, save states, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, like, make fucking child game happy, and I'm gonna get that fucking Chaos Emerald from Laughing Doctor of <laughs> Botnik, <laughs> you know? I'm gonna work toward it? it. I've got three so far. Nice. And, like, the, the sad thing is, I got those three dead on in a row. I didn't even have to save scum. Cause I'm just, I'm planning on save scumming. I was like, cause there's a, like, you just push a button now. It's like F5 and you save and you go, oh, that didn't work well. So you push F6 and it loads. And that's a great way. That's, that's just top titties, uh, save scumming. Yeah. Um, you know what the magic, uh, you know what the real magic is? Is if you get a USB. That's bullshit. If, yeah, I know. That is bullshit. You can't attack him early in this No, month. that's crap. Cause A, you always could. So like, you know, you gotta. And B, you can't attack him, but he's goddamn dick ball can fucking. You know, hit you? That's the kind of injustice I cannot stand. You know, monstrous prejudice systems toward ethnicities. Like, look, you know, that's fine. But, hey, it's fucking... Steady on, Eggman. Yeah. Fucking egg privilege. It's just the, it's the world they live in, dude. Sonic yeah. lives with egg privilege every day of his life. He's just, no just, just a hedgehog trying to get by. No justice, no peace. No. I'm gonna free all my little Mumia rabbits, and they're gonna go off and they're gonna fuck, know. and they're gonna reproduce, and they're gonna overswarm the lands. 
And it's all Sonic's fault. Was- Eggman's actually the government, you know. <laughs> he's just surrounding. Yeah, he's, he's, you know, helping them. Eggman's the government neutralizing the African American population with crack. That's- all right. So here is the here is the point where Runch is informing me about momentum, and I still don't understand what he means. But you will find out very shortly what he means. Because it takes me like two minutes to work it out. Um, Runch is a tiny green alien that only Aaron can see. He's actually red. But he's a little alien. Mm. Right. At least they got these cunts back. Oh, uh, the Captain Americas. Yeah. They're here. I'm, I'm doing crouching because that's what you do in Sonic games. Yeah. And I'm not going higher. Just... And I'm getting very confused at like... I mean, you got a, I think you got a bit of extra height there. Yeah, but, but like, like you you tip out. Like, yeah. See, this is the max. You don't go higher. I'm like, oh, maybe yeah, you got to push jump. a button. Like, yeah. Like, stop defending yourself, you fucking metal nugget. Yeah, I release the rabbit inside so it can go fuck. <laughs> you know, that's not so bad. There, he's he's reharvesting them. He's using them for good. He's not just killing them. He's that pow- he's powering a robot. Yeah, that's gonna be. You know, my fucking phrase for when I'm a life coach, release the rabbit inside. <laughs> you, you can do You're it. You're going to make release, more furries than necessary. Release the rabbit inside. I'm like, maybe I've missed something in the controls <laughs> or... Are there furry life coaches? I'm sure so. Uh, they just don't generally probably don't bring the furry side. Oh, no, but I mean specifically, coaching. like that's... I, that's the point I assume of it. someone does. Because again, it's yeah. okay to have any bizarre, weird hobby or fetish you goddamn want. It's making it the only part of your life that's just sad and strange. Like, because you, you know, you, you should be a person, and a person is a you know complex thing. Or really, just a beautifully ineffable goddamn you know result of lots of the interaction points of lots of other little things. And we're going to go all the way back to the start and make sure Aaron hasn't left momentum somewhere. Because it's always the last place you look, Aaron, you know? At this point, I'm not looking for momentum. I still haven't worked it out. I'm, oh. I'm trying to think maybe there's another way. Maybe I'm, <laughs> this is a dead end or something. Maybe if I teabag these platforms. I love teabagging in Sonic games. It moves the screen. I mean, I wish you'd kill that guy. Nah, fuck I don't him. like looking at him. Curse a lot. He upsets me. He has to live with what he's done. <laughs> He knows what he's seen. Yeah, this is where I worked out. That's stupid. Just wow, yeah, because that is like... up the wall. That is night and day. Yeah, look at that. Like, I sort of understand it a little bit, but like also, again, he used to be able to roll with force. You can. You, know? you can in literally every other Sonic game. Sproying. I do love the Sproingies. These I can take or leave. These were never fun. That's, I mean, but they're, like, that's the point. Is they're specifically put there to be a bag of dicks. This whole level is bag of dicks, man. Well, it's that issue of, like, you know, they're antithetical to the way Sonic plays. Like, the whole point is you're meant to go in a direction quickly, and then what does this do? Oh, puts shit in the way and makes the going in a direction quickly part a goddamn hassle. Aaron turning off his friends list notifications. Well, I noticed that. Leave up. Aaron alone. He's <laughs> not listening. Never. <laughs> I do love never. Never. No listening for Aaron. Don't talk to me on Twitter. I'll mail you a feral cat. Bro, they I have would lots not of those even in Australia. try. They are too wily to catch. Yeah, that's why I have a that's why I have a big slingshot and ball bearings. Shoot him with your jelly gun. If any get into the yard to harass my small, defenseless domestic cat, pelt him in the goddamn face. I still can't get over the yelling ho kobo of a Canberra. <sighs> <laughs> okay, you told that story to me. Nobody else knows what you're talking about. So, it's very, very early in Canberra. We're in the city. and Aaron was in Canberra recently. The city centre is a weird shopping mall yeah. that goes inside, then outside, then inside, then outside. It's one of those really weird ones. And we're walking in very early trying to find some food because I can't really eat a lot of breakfast foods because they have eggs, wheat, 
generally all the stuff I can't eat in them um, that my body can't process it's all this fun properly. stuff. Yeah. So we just walk outside this the center, and there's a hobo sitting there on the bench, and he's a he's a bloke with a a rather long, sort of large face, scraggly long hair, beard, grayish. Uh, Australian bum. Yeah, has a has a long cigarette in his mouth, and he just he hunches over, takes a drag, pulls out the cigarette, looks down at the ground, looking at the ground, looking at his cigarette past it, and just starts screaming Ooh! for like a minute straight. And my brain, because it's like it's like seven thirty a.m. I don't I don't I don't function well in the mornings. My brain's just gone. Get away from him. Get away from him now, and my, my mind's, my brain's just gone, my mouth's gone. Is he okay? Let's, Don't let's, let's ask go. Don't ask Look, the problem with any of these things is it's inviting the problem to be yours. And that's one thing that that's you gotta learn. Yeah, that's the one thing you gotta learn living in the valley is you can't do that because it's literally nothing but problems. So you're gonna see some weird, like, unless someone pitches down in front of you unconscious and there's literally nobody else around then you gotta call like oh know, call an ambulance and shit you know yeah get, get don't help. talk don't make eye contact because holy shit you don't know and you're gonna think oh that's like cruel and like look you you, you have to understand a lot of these people are like they you know, lure really you in. well also it's one of those situations where you know i've god help me tried a couple of times and it does this thing where it's like you, you try to help somebody who you think's like maybe messed up or drunk or something, and then they want to fight you. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's, you know... Oh, not really the best. That's not what I wanted out of this exchange. You know, I wasn't expecting you to fucking carry me on your fucking shoulders as the new king of the bums, like... I just... I, I want know, that, though. To be honest, I didn't even expect to fucking thank you. Just don't try to fight me. And then after a while, you're like, alright, I'm done. I'm not... Like, look at that dicker shoes. You know, look at this. This yeah. fuck this, man. That's... Yeah. Not happening. So the scariest thing is, I swear in the distance, like, I heard a, I heard oh, yeah, a no, scream no, no. back. Yeah. So now I fear that they're massing because they've no. smelt Brisbane flesh. Yeah, during and the... And they, you know, they're preparing to take my shit. Because during the day, they're just mumble bums. But when the, the sun goes down, out comes the wino shout. And they will, yeah, just... They're like howl monkeys. They just, they just scream. Like, yeah. it's fucking nuts. Just picture, picture the monkey in Tarzan, um, the Disney animated... When, when the monkey just rears back and just roars. There's like, imagine that, but bums. Hello bums. Hello bums. That's what we should send as telegrams, hello bums. <laughs> Start screaming your message and bummogram. Yeah, bummogram. <laughs> bummogram for you, sir. Oh, uh, no, God. not again. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, Dave oh. knows. I hate these things. <laughs> Can we not just have a more functional mental health system? <laughs> like, I'd be willing Get to just, jobs, just to fucking... Well, I mean, like, look, you know, the the hard reality is, like, you know, these people aren't going to get fucking jobs, man. Like, it's not about that. They, you know, again, the homeless in Australia, particularly, it's it's largely, especially in the long-term sense, you know, there's a lot of issues of mental health and drug addiction. jacks, scamming, free frozen cokes, all right? Yeah. Because they do that because, a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, that's the thing. Australia, it's mostly a mental health and addiction issue. Yeah. And so that's, you know... You know, it's not like... I remember seeing a documentary on, like, uh... What was it? After one of the fucking financial catastrophes in the States that, you know, didn't touch Australia, because nothing ever really does. Um, Bizarre. But they were, you know, they were talking to this homeless dude in, like, a homeless town, and... You know, because again, in Australia, you're like, oh yeah, he'll be some weird hooting feral with no teeth that thinks, you know, moon I men. The adjective hooting. Yeah, like, because that, because that's what it is here. It's like, oh yeah, look, there's the bum. He's, his eyes are screaming at things that only he can see. And this dude was like, I mean, A, he was like coherent. So like, oh, this must, be, well, must be before he gets drunk or, you know, he hasn't gotten on recently or something like that. And then, you know, he's not... You know, he's, he's sober because he's not a fucking crazy alcoholic or drug addict. And he's also, like, an electrician. Like, he's got a trade. Mm. <laughs> he's like, I don't know, I've been trying to get, like, jobs and shit. Just, there's just nothing. He's like, hey, fuck, that's fucking nuts. Because here, it's just, you know, holy bejesus. 
Like, usually they've, like, done something fucked up at a halfway house or something and have just been, like, cast to the wind. Or they've, you know, stumbled out of a fucking hospital or something. I mean, they just need kind of like a nice bouncy castle that they can sit in for a while. Like. That'd be good. Bum castles, yeah. <laughs> Bumsy castle. <laughs> Bumsy castle. Get in the Bumsy castle, sir. You know, it could, you could, it could seal itself and then inject water and wash. Yeah. And, you know, bounce them all clean. Well, that's like, they have shit like that now. Like, they got like a... Yeah, the bum know, bus. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a van that goes around and the van has like a fucking, uh, you know, it does your laundry. Yeah, and it's got showers and shit. Yeah, which is great. Um, ah, oh, fuck, that reminds me, actually. So, like, you know, like, when you're unemployed, they put your, you know, it, uh, and I swear this was just a way to sort of make less people unemployed. And I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't, I, I didn't get one of these jobs. But, like, they give you, like, an unemployment person who does stuff, like, applies for jobs for you and shit like that. Yeah. And, you know, it was meant to be, like, a contact or something. Okay. You know, I don't know. And look, for some people, this is, you know, this is genuinely a really valuable service, etc. Uh, again, I feel like it was just a way of taking, like, you know, maybe 30% of the unemployed people and going, okay, your job is now to just go deal with the other 70% of unemployed people. But, like, so... You know, again, it's, it's one of those situations where it's not, like, I'm not unemployed because I rubbed myself in my own poo, you know, and before going to a job interview. Like, I do that shit in my own time. You know, so, but they keep, like, they, they have to do these things where it's like, I've been unemployed for a while, alright, well, we'll, we'll do this. And one of the things, you know... Also, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you for this design. No danger the entire level. Nothing the entire level. Then... At the end, just one odd oh, you <laughs> misstep, well, you're dead now, and there's not enough rings to get the bonus stage because we put the time gate right at the end of the level. Checkpoint. Good work. That is funny. Fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> continue. Oh, yeah, well, so fucking, you know, she starts talking to me about, you know, do I have, like, interview-ready clothing? And sort of, yeah, I do. She's like, oh, so you're okay? And I, just, I sort of offhandedly <laughs> mention, well, sometimes it's a hassle to buy, like, you know, business shirts that fit me. You know, because I'm a lot of weird fucking shapes. Mm. So, like... My usual problem is if it fits my arms lengthwise, it doesn't fit, like, you know, my chest. If it fits my chest, it doesn't fit my arms. Yeah, I, it no. just, you know, one way or another, I wind up looking munted. So I make the full mistake of going, oh, yeah, you know, sometimes I just find it a bit of a hassle to buy, like, you know, fucking you know, you know, business shirts. This is the only thing I could think of to say, because literally I go in there and we just look at each other for five seconds and go, well, we've done our bit, and then that's it. <laughs> so then she goes, oh, okay, well, I'll send you to this place, and it, like, you know, it's called... You know, it's just like a suited to success or something, right? Yeah. And so I'm thinking in my head, it's like, oh, you know, and I was like, oh, so like they'll be able to measure me and shit and like get me a thing that fits. And then you know, the lady's like, yeah. I was like, that actually sounds really good. You know, I'd like, because it's a hassle. Yeah. You know, like a lo like off the rack is a fucking struggle for me. Oh, and no, I'm the same, dude. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, I'm between sizes. Yeah. So it's off the rack's a fucking hassle. So I'm like, oh, this will, you know, this will be nice. I'll get some fucking shirts. So I go there and what the, what? The thing actually is, and I want to stress that this is a really good service, and I really respect that it exists, is basically a way of teaching, like, people who only dress in one Feral Slayer t-shirt their whole life <laughs> how to put on business clothes oh, and to nice. look like a functioning adult. And I... something... like... The penny sort of dropped when she, like, because, you know, they go, okay, we're gonna have a questionnaire, and I was like, okay, you know, I'm looking at... I don't know how this process works, so why would I question that? And then it's just like, what's your self-esteem like? And it's like, uh, oh you know, my what God. do you feel about your appearance? I'm like, uh, I no. mean, like, hey, like, <sighs> fucking, what, what do you mean exactly? Like, look, I don't think I'm fucking handsome, but I can, you know, I can rock up to a goddamn interview, like, for Christ's sake. So, like, I mean, that's a, that's a loaded question for someone like me. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just there going, I... And then, so yeah, it's literally like, this is how they, because they're like, oh, well, you know, we'll take a photo of you before, we'll take a photo of you after. And it's like, it's to show people who maybe haven't dressed fancy ever, that, you know, they can clean up all right. Hey. Again, this is a service, this is not a service I need. No, <laughs> it's just a service you're taking advantage of. Well, I'm not even taking, like, because that's the thing, like. You didn't even re mean to take advantage of it, you just answered a question. Yeah, I fuck it. I'm, I, I, but you I buzzed opened, stumbled into the, yeah, I, the self I buzzed system. in before the question was finished, 
and that's what that's what I fucking get, you know. So do you feel shoes? Okay, yeah, yeah, we, we like, can. Uh, I guess we can use because you know I'm trying. Because again, with, the thing about these things is once they tell you to go a place, you have to go a place, uh, yeah. and you have to do the thing. Yeah, and it's mandated. You can't. Yeah. yeah, and you can't sort of go. You know, even super politely, like I'm not gonna say, "Hey, this is dumb, and you're idiots." Let's go. I don't really think this is the sort of service that I need. So I just shut my pie hole and try to get through this. But I mean, like the girl sort of realized halfway through, it's like, "Yeah, I'm not. I don't smell like cigarettes and ear sweat. Like it's clear that this is not maybe 100% necessary." And I'm still thinking that I might get measured. You know, all right, look, maybe this isn't, you know, what I was exactly wanting, but I might get measured and I might get some fucking white business shirts out of it. And, you know, they sort of measured my chest and I was like, all right, no, that's yep, 115 centimeters, rad. Uh, you know, and then, you know, I, I, I begrudgingly sort of accepted two, like, button-up shirts that I didn't need and really <laughs> want, but, you know, they're, like, donated and the whole thing, like, the girl doing this, it was it was almost at the point where it was just like, you know, just take it so you can leave, sort of thing, so I can tick the box and say that the thing happened that we did this. Yeah. So now I have uh, two new shirts. I can just imagine the process going down in my head, and that's very funny. It's just like, uh, I don't... You know... Imagine going to a place and a person speaking really slowly to you that they're going to teach you numbers, and you're like, alright, look, I don't... I understand numbers, yeah, I just, but we need to make sure yeah, we need, you understand like this. numbers. No, no, it's really, I'm okay, guys. <sighs> yeah, like, somebody else today probably needs this service. I, you know, I'm taking that away from someone who actually really needs it. Yeah. On the other hand, free shirt. And it, well, yeah, and the, 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 well, the fact is, the problem fucking remains. Like, yeah. again, it's not, it's not that I can't afford shirts or I can't go get a fucking <laughs> shirt. Like... I don't wear business shirts every day because why the fuck would I? That's insane. I just wear t-shirts. So at the very least, my business shirts don't get ruined. It's, again, like, I'm, I'm weird shapes and I need to go to, like, you know, my girlfriend keeps saying go, I'll go to the weird shape store. And it's like, okay, honey, I've been to the weird shape store. The weird shape store is for either really, really tall people, which I'm not, or giga fat cunts. <laughs> and yeah, I know this dude. because I've been to the big and tall stores yeah. and they kind of look at me like, why are you here? You don't look like a cartoon. And <laughs> well, yeah, that's just, again, that's the fucking reality of it. You go to every one of these big and tall stores and that's the choice you've got. You're either shopping for someone who's seven feet fucking tall or you're shopping for somebody who has their own fucking orbit. And uh, like one of my favorites, and it's kind of like, spawned this whole fucking thing that I keep doing to this day where it was like so-and-so's big and tall store for the significant male and I, I know male is just a sentence <laughs> just, that makes me no because I, I still because I the first thought I, I had when I saw it was like yeah because you know we're, we're all getting like fucking diagnosed as morbidly significant <laughs> you know so it's like uh, now that's just like this running joke that I always have is like you know instead of big W it's significant W like I just love the idea. I would of... shop at Significant W though. Yes. It's the up it's the upmarket one. It's yeah. the fancy one with the nice, you know, the nice stuff. You can and get a then bespoke. You've got the superior W. Yeah, you can get a bespoke suit at the Significant W. You know, none of this just, oh yeah, here's a fucking shirt with XXL written on it. The thing that I don't like is the sexual inequality at Target. Like you go in and if you want something in women's, you'll have like five acres. <laughs> and then if you want men's, there's a little corner over there. It's like, hello. Well, you know. But then when we went to Canberra, the selection for men's was nearly as good as the women's, and I'm like, excuse me, wait, where is this up my area? It's just a Brisbane thing. It's bullshit. I mean, look, I'm not saying that I'm any better, like, because I'm not. Uh, you know, I don't need variety in my clothes. I'm happy wearing literally the same thing. I care about variety. I just want to be able to walk in and actually buy something. Every time I see a dude that I think tries with fashion, it just looks wrong. Because again, the problem. I okay. That I had no idea that there was a death pit down there. No. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's just a Brisbane thing as well. Like every now and then, I see someone that looks like an abandoned King of Fighters design. Yeah, that no, that's pretty Brisbane. I mean, there's loads of hipsters. The King but, of Brisbane. Know, <laughs> I know. Technically, I should be able to challenge you to you and your two friends to a tournament. Some description. I'll I'll play by Rugal rules, where I'll just I'll just be one guy, but I also get like lots of super moves for some reason. 
That's fair. I reckon it's, it's fair. Three on one, but I get like infinite meter. Get I mean, like, it depends on what Rapukins you're thinking, because, like, in King of Fighters 98, Geese's Rapukins weren't projectiles. They were just, like, windy slashes that he, like, cut through the air. And I mean, if I swing my whole fucking body in a Rapukin style palm strike, like, any midgets or 11 year olds in a near me, I'm gonna fucking kill them. Like, because I've tested this. Like, I've got the fucking thing. So I was like, oh, yeah, what happens? Like, so, you know, I got a friend that likes to go for my legs an awful lot. So I was like, all right, what if I just Rapukin him in the fucking head? So I got my little, like, I got like a fucking sack that I filled with, um, uh, sand. Cause you gotta fill it with sand and then wrap it really tight in duct tape. And then you've got something that's like, you know, effectively very hard and will teach you to like fucking really fuck up a head. So I started just Rapukin'ing that. And it's good for your palms as well. Cause once you get used to it, you can like fucking hit things harder. This is such a stupid boss. Does anybody else remember Sonic Spinball? I love Sonic Spinball. Great music, very hard game. But yeah, no, projectile based. I reckon we could attach some sort of flamers to your arms that could get shape. I just may as well use a fucking gun. Like, it's gotta, it's gotta be, it's gotta be organic or nothing. No cheatsies. No cheatsies. Well, start training your cheat. Then. No turn a ball for me. Unless... Steroids could literally make me Hadouken, in which case, yeah, fuck it. Oh, yeah. I mean... Ah, oh, fuck off. Yeah, I know. Like, I was very upset about that. <laughs> what the fuck? Very fuck. upset. It's like, I don't mind that Eggman's got, like, a fucking bit where you can't hit him with the ball. Like, you know, when he puts his little hat on. Yeah. But, for the love of God, he's not just invincible while he's sitting there. As long as he's little... Fuck, if he's as long not as the flashing, he's damageable. That as is long the as rules. the top's down, you're allowed to fucking hurt Eggman. That's, that's the fucking... You know, because he's just a guy sitting there, ultimately, you know? Yeah, I mean, Imagine if tanks were convertibles. Like, they wouldn't be so scary. It'd be like, oh, yeah, look at that. It's got treads and shit, and there's, like, a big gun on the front. The top. Like, yeah, that's pretty scary. But look, there's just, like, three dudes in there, and, they, you know, you could... I mean, you could chuck a rock at him, really. Like, what's that about? Is that gonna do anything? That's gonna occupy space. Oh, oh. I don't know. Uh, it's bullshit, that's what. <laughs> It's game designed by people who should design bullshit. Sonic. I mean, all right, you can't like pinball wizard your way into his thunderclap. But Ever since ooh. I was a young boy, I played a silver boy. <laughs> oh, the first nerdcore song. Um, every fucking I can't think of fucking Tommy without getting fiddle about in my head. No, uh, do you remember fiddle about? Oh, uh, good, yeah, nobody does because they immediately delete it from their memory. It's literally the closest you'll ever get to being molested without being actually molested, and your brain will treat the event as such. <laughs> um, it's Peter Moon playing Tommy's Wicked Uncle Ernie, and he likes to fiddle about. Hey. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll put it on later. If you're, if, if you're watching along at home, you know, put on Fiddle About Now and see if it syncs up anything Aaron says. You know, infer from that what you will. Uh, but it, like, like a lot of Tommy, actually, it was genuinely fucking horrifying. Like, this isn't an inherently a bad idea, it's just made by a team who shouldn't be making a Sonic game. Well, it's, a, it's that issue of just little touches. Yeah. Like, a, you know, a great piece of meat can be burnt, you know. Fundamentally a great piece of meat, you know? Even for the era, oh, like, alright, the graphics are a little, like, sort of mod, but, alright, fine. You know? Most of the bits, it doesn't seem like a glitchy piece of actual fucking unplayable shit, which oh, some no, games it's, have been. It's, it's very playable, like... Yeah, and, and that's the thing, is it, it's, it's honestly, the problems that you've got with it stem from its otherwise fair quality. Yes. Wom -wom. Wom -wom. Like, they'd be... Sega will be fools at this point to let the Mania team do anything but make Sega like Sonic games. Like, yeah. please. That's, that's Sega though. Like, they make something that people like, and then they go, ah, new team! Shit again! <laughs> they just roll the roulette wheel, and it rolls on good or shit. Good or shit. Congratulations, you've rolled shit. Congratulations, you've rolled become a software developer now. I got the Dreamcast the midnight release. You fool! Fuck no, it was great. Stand by the Dreamcast. <laughs> I'll never, never forget!
Yeah, but you also associate it with that crazy, crazy lady pissing in the alley. That, like, so... all right, look, that was, you know, in life there are moments that will, in their own way, define, the, you know, errors. And seeing a weird homeless lady in a Dreamcast, hmm, in a Dreamcast. Yeah, I was very upset about that. T-shirt, do a stand-up wee in the street. <laughs> as harrowing as it was emotionally, and it was, it was also necessary closure me by that point you know like the dreamcast was such a great system and i had like it had it had probably at the time the greatest selection of fighting games yeah no definitely um even into like the ps2's eventual step of having pretty much every fighting game that was worth having the dreamcast's selection was great um i had to stick for it so i got to play like fucking third strike at 50 fps because Woo! go pal pal um, but god damn it, it worked. Better you know? than going to the arcade and paying a fucking two bucks. <laughs> yeah. Two dollars to have the Vietnamese kid who won't look at me just beat me in five seconds anyway. It's so hard to learn under those circumstances. Yeah. Man. It is so hard to learn. Imagine if, like, learning maths was like you sat at home, nobody told you anything, you walked into a room with, like, three, you know, plus five equals seven? Question mark. And then just a dude looked at you and either shook his head or fucking nodded. And then you just had to leave. And that cost you a dollar, <laughs> by the way. And that, that was your option. Like, you'd, you'd sit, you'd play the game, you'd get beaten really quickly and be thinking to yourself, all right, how do I... I mean, he seems to just beat me with that. Maybe that's just better. Maybe I'm a bad character. I don't know. Maybe I've got to learn this fucking parrying business. It was hard early on. Times when you didn't know things existed. And... Yeah, because there used to be an arcade at the bottom of the McWhorters. I used to go in there and play Third Strike. Um, and it was it, it, it was cool actually, because unlike a lot of goddamn Street Fighter machines, it was Lord Aaron. It was a dollar to start and a dollar to continue. I suppose two dollars to fucking start, which was cunty. That is very cunty. Um, that was where I played a lot of Third Strike. And there was a Vietnamese dude who was just, like, you know, I don't know how I'd rate him against today, Gabe, but, like, at the time, he just seemed fucking impossible. Because if, especially if you're unfamiliar with Third Strike, and, you know, even at the time, I, you know, still, I played a bit of fucking Next Generation, but that was about it, you know? Like, I knew parries existed, but I never tried them, because that seemed hard. You know, you're in there playing, and you just, you do something, it's like parry, 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 and then you get counter hit, and you're like, this is actually impossible. I think I'm fighting legitimate Jesus. It's the game that makes, like, any opponent that knows what they're doing look like a god if you know nothing. Yeah. It's and it's like, you know, the so best, cruel. The best part is it's a defensive god as well. It's yeah. not like Marvel, where, like, you just push a button, someone gets in on you, and it's like, ah. Oh. And then you're just watching a cutscene about how you suck. Down, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, man, can I have a go? No. No, you can't. Oh. No, Virgil's tagging in. Not, uh, not Virgil. Virgil. Yep, Virgil. Helmbreaker. Now I'm a demon and like, yeah. No, mother, I'm motivated. This tickled me really pink that the fact that the torch spins around with you. That's that's a good little touch. Yeah, I know. You know? I, I liked like that. it. So if it didn't, I'd be so angry right This is actually right actually a very creative design that you light the torches with the, the background to make you be able to see. I didn't see that. I thought he was just- Oh, hey, look at that, okay. I thought he was just going to the Olympics. Isn't that coming out soon? Stop letting Mario and Sonic in the Olympics! They're not athletes! No, the crazy thing is, Mario is going to be 100% in the Olympic opening ceremony. I know! Which blows my mind. Like, I get that it's a huge part of, like, Japan, and particularly what the rest of the world knows about Japan, but also, it's a weird Italian stereotype, and I just, <laughs> I love that. I love that, like, just, because no one was really paying attention. This weird Italian stereotype gets to be, like, a mascot for Japan. It does seem very off, yes. Because, God help you if you were, like, African or something. Yeah. Australia's great little, you know, e ethnic tribute wonder nip. <laughs> Someone do me some wonder nip pixel art. It doesn't matter how racist you make it. We're in danger of being swamped by wonder nips. Good. So that's a that's a fear we live with. 
Luckily, we invested billions in submarines. So that will fucking save us. Why the fuck, Australia? We even invested five point billion. Why? That got us five submarines. Why? To defend. To defend. To defend. To defend. To defend us from a fucking aquatic race of Harold Holtz. That's my only thinking right now is that Harold has come to reclaim the throne. The funniest thing is that they were really loud. Like some of the Collins class submarine that like each noise. So like other submarines can just go, oh yeah, there you are. Hey, uh, which is, you know, which I found out is actually not what submarines are for. The whole point is meant to not know that they're there. Yeah. Which is really interesting, actually. I'd probably just strip naked and ride a dolphin. Never hear me coming. Aaron. I'd, I'd hear the dolphin. I have like, would. yeah, but no one would be like, no one can speak dolphin. It's not like if you translate it, you're going to hear someone go help. There's a they naked just, guy on my back. They'd hear that dolphin and think, stay away from that. <laughs> That's that creature's in pain. What is dolphin for help? There's an oiled up naked guy on my right back. Here, right here. I 100% believe that. With help, there's an oiled up naked guy on my back. And see, I'd have, you know, I'd just be oiled up and naked, but I'd have like a little pouch of like fucking, you know, C4 and explosive. And I could just, you know, me and my dolphin buddy. Do you use starfish as ninjas does? Um, well, yeah, but like only with their consent. The starfish would need to be, you know, like really just yeah, brought in and briefed into the Australian military tradition. Just use you. those weird jelly fat fish egg sack things that you throw at your brother. Yeah, I mean those are harmless though, that's why I throw them at my brother. Well, they're, I mean they're eggs, so yeah. killing them, but... Well, I mean harmless to me. Like, when I say harmless, I don't mean like to anything else. It's, you know, that's why it's okay to throw True. pigeons at your brother. Pigeons make great darts. <laughs> pigeons. I like that, yeah, so lighting torches activates things and you've got torches and switches and... I don't think you're allowed up there just yet. Yeah, you gotta go through where you blew things up. Come on, well, you, you well, have to get a fat Italian to the Olympics, you jerk. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Yeah, that still, you still tripped me out with that now, thinking about it. What? That, that's the symbol. Yeah, and it's like, again, I, I you know, cause like, I don't really give a flying fuck. It's just the, it's, it's always the ones, it's the differences that create the lines that make me interested. So like, you know, it's 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 okay when it's like the Irish and the Italians. And I mean, sometimes the Italians complain, but nobody listens. You know, like fucking St. Patrick's Day is like. <laughs> I mean, like it is. Like if we cared, it'd be so racist. Oh god, yeah. Like holy Jesus, St. Patrick's Day would be racist. Like imagine just people running around in blackface. Going, what's up, my nigga? At just everybody. Just looking outside, like, uh Everyone's chugging 40s. You're like, ah, oh, doesn't feel right. Good, yeah. I mean, I love it. I think it's hilarious. Because it is that. I really hope there's an Evangelion reference in the fucking thing somewhere. Because you know it's going to be anime as fuck. Like, the animes are coming. Like, that's, that's going to be the Olympics. It's gonna be anime at the Olympics. Oh, dude, yeah, they need a Lance of Longinus. Please. Please. Oh. Oh, God, fucking damn it, it'll never end! Nah. That's Do what you the, beat this? That's what the spear throwing can be. Yeah. It can be Lance of Longinus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be at least one turbo weeb fucking. What's it called? Javelin. How do you get into Javelin? That just seems such a weirdly specific thing. I imagine you'd have to have very strong upper forearms. Oh, well, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, who, where's Javelin? You know, where's like, oh, I'd like to throw a stick you really might good. might enjoy tossing things. Yeah. I mean, I suppose they've got them in schools and shit, but I just, you know. Like, we shouldn't, like, why is it Javelin? Why can't it just be spear? Like, we should, should like, there should be limits. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to, like, do what you want, but the... Uh, you should have to create your own spear, craft it, and then you gotta hit, like, targets and shit. Like, cause just javelin with targets, already I'm way more interested. Cause about, uh, just throwing it far, it's like, that's, you know, it's like, alright, but... What about javelin one-on-one -on -one arena, and you have to javelin your opponent, or spear your opponent? Yeah, cause you just have, like, a nubbin tip, you know, like, not have it spiky. No, I wanna, I wanna impale them. We can't have death sports just yet. Why not? Yet. It's not a death sport. We're, we're, they're just uh, gonna get slightly maimed. I mean, you know, yeah, but like, you get hit in the head with that and you'll feel it. Like, no, they'll have headwear protection. Oh, uh, uh, Aaron lost all of it. 
got a brisket for that biscuit. I suppose. Having never had a biscuit, I do not understand why one would risk it. Brisket I was my brip, my um biscuit brand from the 80s, but unfortunately, the I was found out for using brisket instead of biscuit. <laughs> well, the thing is, criskets were uh, a, a, a thing. Crosskits? Was it crosskits? Crosskits, yeah. it was criskets. A long... Yeah, they're yeah, kind yeah, of like, they're, yeah. they're sort of weird. They're not like a biscuit. They're like almost a fucking strange, savory wafer. Yeah, they're crust I feel, goods. Yeah, I feel like they're like the inside of a fucking, um, uh, Kit Kat. But like, not with chocolate. Yeah, and you can put cheese on them and shit. Inside yeah. out. Some or, kind of uh, you know, like the packing material? Yeah. It sort of feels a little crunchy. I know, and that makes it sound less appealing than it genuinely was. But like, it's it wasn't not. bad, yeah. You're good. Yeah. Well, it's like, I love saladas. I don't even eat chips anymore, man. Like, I, I get my saladas, I have my baked salada, and I don't feel like a fat cunt. Do you like eating salada? Put your dick on that vein. I do it in the middle of the night. Like, every... If I access... Do you do, you yeah. do the eat of shame out of the refrigerator? I've eaten so many sad, weird ghetto <laughs> deli plates where it's just like, I'm hungry. All of my food is cooking food, you know? Like, yeah. I don't have a lot of snack uh, shit, exactly. I've been there, yeah. And then, you know, I'm looking in my fridge, it's like, what have I got? And it's like, okay, I've got saladas in the cupboard. I have, like, various goos that one might use to make a sandwich tastier. And I've got... A sandwich? You know, just pickled things that I put on. You know, again, it's like just the bits of a sandwich, but I don't want to... I don't want to just bite bite the bullet and have a whole sandwich. You know, I think that's what I just that's got. That's a big I, commitment. Yeah, and I think, because I wind up eating more crap. I just feel like I've got a, it's that initial commitment factor. No, I just had to go, all right, Gabriel, it's like one o'clock and you're going to eat a sandwich. Just accept it. And then what happened? We drove around all night looking for an all-you-can-eat sandwich buffet. And we didn't find I'd one. We broke into a wuss yeah. and got the ingredients for a sandwich. Go to an all you can eat sandwich. Buffet. I know you imagine would. like a just yeah, like imagine. Well, I mean, it would. Why hasn't anyone done that? That would be a killer because like everyone would fill up on bread, you'd make so much profit. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that'd be a way because you just have garlic sticks there and shit, and people go, Oh, yeah, because I went to this fucking uh, I think Portuguese restaurant in San Francisco, and you pay like $60 and you just sit there, and there's this staggering buffet of literally everything I've always liked. And so I went ape shit on that. What you guys do? Yeah, and then meanwhile, while I'm there going ape shit, this dude has like all the meats on swords. Like I'm not even joking. Like, Sword just, meat. Yeah, there's dudes coming around. It's like, would you like meat? And it's like, yes. <laughs> and that's you've just got sword meat to eat. I love it how it bounced directly off into the boink. And then you know, and it's good meat. Like it's not like shit. Like yeah. you know, it's, it's got whole bits of chicken. There's like delicious fucking. There was goat I think at one point. Which I feel doesn't like really we need a sandwich buffet. Yeah, but I like again, sandwich. like you know, you could make the thing is you could make a sandwich, right? But you'd have to be interpretive. You know, you'd have to get creative with what was available. It's not like the thing was like, here you go, champ, make a sandwich. You know, and I feel like I mean, imagine just an all-you-can-eat fucking subway. You just go in there and you're allowed to fucking you know. Now I'm the artist. Yeah. See, it it sells itself. We're, just, like. we're essentially Kramer yeah. with make your own pizza, but less racist. Make your own pizza, and what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really funny one, because it's like, what were you expecting to happen? Yeah, I know. For those who are unaware, there was a just All look up Kramer N word. Um, <laughs> yeah, That's that a great video of it. <laughs> because, yeah, he went a bit crazy. Um, I think, yeah. like, I don't know, because the thing that I heard was, like, because he was used to be friends with, like, Paul Mooney and shit. And I generally don't think that you're allowed to be friends with Paul Mooney and racists at the same time. Because I feel like he'd detect that fairly fucking quickly. So I, I think he may have just gotten a little comfortable and not realized that you can't I just shout. I don't think he's inherently racist. That, oh, no, no, no. I, no, just, I just. I think it's, yeah. Uh, like, that is probably cool. not good. Like, you know, I, you know I'm not going to sit there and shout at. It's you know, poor, especially aggressively like that. It was poor taste, and he read the room completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, you could have just said you're a cunt. Like, that's because Americans still take that word seriously. Which they is do, yeah. 
This wasn't good in the original. It's not good here. Hey, just jump fucking preemptively to get to the area. Oh, that's yeah, fine. I feel like there should be some sort of tell. You know, like maybe a little bit of that vegetation is like there's land here. This land. Yeah, the vegetation not to come. Come, Sonic, to the land. I mean, honestly, I don't even know why you're jumping. I'd just be fucking hell mole getting to the bottom as quick as I could. Because you can't. It, it repeats. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, fuck. That's what I'm saying. I didn't like it in the original. I don't fucking like it now. I completely forgot about that. I guess we just get to the bottom or something. Yeah, because in the original, you have to jump at the right time, and there's a switch which opens up the pathway. No, 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 no. Da da da! I. Your furry art belongs in a museum. <laughs> I can see Harrison Ford kidnapping furry art from a museum. I can see him like dating some other girl and getting into her stupid hobbies, and instead of putting an earring in, getting a fur suit. Is there a celebrity furry? And I mean, like someone who did something interesting before they put on a fur suit. I don't want to. I don't give. It's like, I oh, this is a so. this is a furry that's popular. I don't fucking care. Holy shit! But like, if someone. You know, like if Jamie Foxx was secretly getting about as an actual fox at night, that'd be very funny to me. That'd be amazing. I know, right? It writes itself. Let's just say that he is. Yeah. Because that's canon now. Yeah, of equal entertainment value to me is Jamie Foxx having to deny that he's a furry. So I'm just willing to let that ride. I don't know how that works. Yeah. I know, like I, I noticed you do that a couple of times and I... I think it is allowed to in this one. So I was like, oh, you must have threaded the needle between the little spiky boys. And, oh. No, I did. I just. All right. Oh, well, I'm out of ideas. Wop, wop. I love the wop wop. <laughs> you ever carry a plastic bag of air into the pool to see if you can breathe it? I you, did. And then you learn the hard way that you actually need a remarkable amount of air. Yeah. Like you don't even get one breath. It's not even like a fucking half of a mouthful of a breath. You're like, oh, that's gone and I can't breathe. Or like, if you have a long pipe and you can breathe while you're underwater by sticking it above and you think you've like, made the greatest discovery in the world. Yeah. What touch? Oh, There! They fuck. put spikes there that you can hardly see. That you have to avoid rolling into to get eee! the water out. Yep. Eee! It sucks. At least the plug doesn't like, roll back. Oh, that would be the worst. <laughs> But yeah, this game Smash and CRT is not fun, man. Like, it's it's not difficult at all the way through until you get to the very end, and then the bosses just it boss rushes you right at the end. Yeah. And I was like, I think it was Sonic Two when you had to fight Metal Sonic. Yeah. And you'd start again, and you'd, they they had no like fucking rings. So yeah. you had to fight Metal Sonic with like just fucking one. So hit either you got there and had yeah. the advantage of rings the first time and you got through it, they didn't even or give you one. were fucked. Yeah, yeah no, they didn't, didn't give you one. Give you one. It's like, man, it's he's Metal Sonic for Christ's sake. So you yeah. know, some people would really enjoy trap filled ruins. <laughs> Ew. Fine. No, it's not. Speaking of vagina hive. Resident Evil. Still upset I never got to experience that in VR. Screw you, Capcom. Give me my higher vagina VR, please. Isn't that effectively what's going on in, like, Devil May Cry or some shit? So I saw a big wasp's nest in that. Like... Ah. Oh, did you just fucking see how Nintendo VR is coming out? I mean, um, my brain read that those two words. I was like, no. Because, <laughs> again... There are certain mechanical realities of VR. I'm assuming it is going to be an incredibly small experience. It's basically going to be. Um, what I'm looking for. It's like okay, the thing you know, the thing no, about fucking VR you, is you, you a you, you absolutely need a high stable frame rates for it to work at all. You know how the you support a non. VR game into VR and it sort of splits it. Yeah. It's going to be basically that. Well, yeah, but again, like, you know, the hardware is is the issue. It struggles to, you know, main, it, it struggles to maintain 30. So I don't know yeah, what the they're hardware, expecting. The hardware is not doing the power of the VR. It's the lens. You need to get the VR kit. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I know there's a VR kit, but, like, 
they're rendering. You know, if they if they get, they'll drop the resolution and shit time yeah. to do it. I mean, again, that's. It's that's, it's not about the power of the thing. No, it's I know just, it's not about it's, the power of novel. the thing, but it's like it's still like again, there are reasons. Uh, oh, Eddie, no. Come on, Aaron, you can do it. No, I can't. Come on, Aaron, the you can do it. Water's too high. Come on, Ari. Ari, He's Ari, dead. Ari, Ari, Potter. Oh. Look at those dudes. Those guys have jobs. Yeah, dude, they're gonna get, get in and drill their shit. <laughs> All I know is the people who made that touchy feely fucking Sanran Kagura game on the Switch are gonna have a field day. They'll get the artwork in that. I don't think they're allowed to do that. I think, I, I think that should, we, should, we should just get on that quickly. HD rumble these boobs in VR. Didn't they do that? Didn't they? They have the HD rumble for that, didn't they? Yeah, for touching and shit. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I kind of want to see, just as a matter of like, out of curiosity for the technology, what HD rumble titties feel like. Like, because that is fascinating. It's fascinating that they let them do that. Nintendo are a weird lot sometimes. Like, I just think if the care, idea is inherently Japanese enough. I'll let you get away with it. <laughs> it's okay, the underage dragons from before the time. Oh, that's fine then. It's like the yeah. game on the Wii. It was a peeing simulator and it came with a strap on to hold the Wii remote in your crotch. I don't remember that. I'm gonna have to look that up. I need to see that. That was now. a weird one. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree that that's a weird one. I, I'm still not 100% sure you're not lying to me somehow. Why would you say- who's that for? Like, fucking- All those yellow golden shower enthusiasts, I guess. Well, I mean, like- See, look how long he stays invincible yeah, for. That's it's bullshit. bullshit, man. Like, yeah, but aren't you simulating doing the wheeze? I like, guess. I mean, is that- Because I can understand, like, I don't know, female to male transgenders being, like, hype about that. It's like, oh yeah, stand up pink. Like, yeah, because- I mean, again, that's- You're simulating something that I can accomplish, like, literally right now. I could go- I have to go- Experience this. You could do it virtually. <laughs> I mean, do they let me pee on weird things? Yeah, if Deep you Dive know? VR comes out and I can't pee on people, I'm out. <laughs> like, I want everything should be as it. I want the Matrix, damn it. Yeah, I want to be able to eat a steak like Joe Pantoliano. I want to be able to eat a steak without dying. Yeah. Virtual steak will be the shit, man. One day, man. One day. We'll get there, and I'll eat a steak of Sylvester Stallone's bicep <laughs> while he's riding fucking um, Pegasus. I don't know Pegasus. What's they've had John Goodman. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the same thing. <laughs> Keep it classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. <laughs> it expanded somehow. I'll have you know...